my dear researchers, my dear scholars, we have reached at a point which is known in Europe as the time and the age of enlightenment. اس کا مطلب ہے کہ تقریباً سترہ سو اور اٹھارہ سو عیسوی کا زمانہ ہے یورپ از کمنگ آؤٹ آف ڈارک ایجز یورپ وٹ دے کال ڈارک ایجز از ایکچولی دی ٹائم وچ وی ریکال از دی ٹائم وین دا چرچ اینڈ دا پیلس اینڈ دا بیوروکریٹس ور ایکچولی رننگ دا سٹی گورمنٹس اینڈ رومن امپائر ہیز گوٹن ویک And because of the Roman Empire became weak, the governments and the states of the governments start becoming independent. So to begin with, Germany, France and Great Britain, UK, they declared to be an independent state from the Roman Empire. That is what the period of enlightenment is called. In other words, Europe is now thinking that we are becoming more intellectual. Our culture is becoming more dynamic. So enlightenment, yani light, hume roshni nazar aai, hume ilm nazar aaya, ya yun kah lijiye, hume ek aisa rasta nazar aaya, ke joh trakki ka rasta hai, Europe ke andar, France ke andar, England ke andar, Germany mein. So enlightenment will be the name given to a period where intellectual and cultural movements were taking up in all these countries of Europe. So in other words, science, especially the natural science, physics, mathematics, the sciences which were based on mathematics, the sciences which was based on objective evidences. They were taking its roots in these independent states. French Revolution, remember now, France, Germany and Great Britain. So these are the three countries which actually, to begin with, was thinking that we need to get away from the beliefs which were given by the church. which were being used and taught in the courses of Oxford University and Cambridge University and Paris University. And remember, business was becoming secular. So in this way, French Revolution is actually the enlightenment period of scientific revolution. Science, especially physics and math, and later on, technology and metallurgy and engineering were taking roots in these countries of the Europe. German philosopher, in Tino ko yaad rakhi, Germany, France, or UK, Great Britain. Is liye ke Roman Empire, yani Italy keh li jiye, usse to ye state governments separate ho rahi hain, independent ho rahi hain, powerful ho rahi hain. So Kant was the German philosopher, And you know, in the Enlightenment period, his slogan was, dare to know. Try to be brave enough. Use your mind. Know what is known to be objective. Know what is known to be shown with evidence. So anything which cannot be proved with evidence is not accepted anymore. تو اس کا مطلب یہ ہوا کہ everything was open for criticism. Every idea was being criticized, including the ideas given by the church. Those mystical beliefs, those beliefs based on subjective knowledge, those beliefs which were based on non-objective evidence. those beliefs which were based on non-observations, they were being criticized. Palace was being criticized. Crown and the king was being criticized. And of course, remember, 
Oxford and Paris and Cambridge University professors, the faculty, was also coming from the church. So their administration was also being criticized. So German philosopher, Kant. French philosopher, is like a culture jab apni roots le raha hai, to har country ka apni ek philosophy, apna ek culture hai. Beshek, ye sab Europe hi ke mamalik hai. French philosopher, Descartes. He called for the rational mind. That mind which can prove things rationally, objectively, logically. So in other words, people should use their minds to seek the truth. Hame truth asmano sa ab chahiye. Hame wo truth chahiye jo hama apni aankhon se dekh sakein, apne kaano se sun sakein. Taste kar sakein, soch sakein. Remember, five senses. So bring in now the five senses. Five senses to hume psychology se mil rahe hain. Lekin rational mind ka matlab ye hai ke we will seek truth and learn and criticize and be open for discussion. And whatever we see, whatever we hear, whatever we can rationalize and is logical is the truth. Anything else is not truth. So no mystical belief. Mystical beliefs kaha kaha the? Church me the? India me the? China me the? And Sufism. Wo jo Islamic principles of business learn kiye unho ne. Ye sab ke sab unka slogan ban gaya have no place in the 18th century Europe. So we will see how then this enlightenment opened its doors for new discoveries in science and brought in the industrial revolution.